have one. I have this drill that belongs to my neighbor and it works on nickel metal hydride batteries which are already dead. So in this video we will convert these battery packs to lithium so the drill can be used again. This older style of batteries is notorious for going bad if it's not used or properly charged and it's very often that you'll find tools that have this nickel metal hydride batteries which are already dead or they do not hold enough charge so they can be successfully and properly used in the workshop. The conversion is relatively similar so we will need to find the appropriate number of lithium cells to replace the voltage of the battery. This one is rated for uh, 18 volts so we either have the option to do a 4S or a 5S. 5S will be more appropriate but at the moment I don't have a battery management module for 5S so I will instead replace the battery as a 4S so 4 cells in series but I'll double them up so we have a total of, of 8 cells that will produce somewhere around 4600 milliamp hours of usage for that battery. For the replacement I will be using this Samsung cells that I salvaged from old laptop batteries and you can also salvage them yourself but be careful not to poke them through because the battery cases for, from the laptops are quite sealed up. This video is sponsored by the leading PCB manufacturing service PCBWay. PCBWay can bring your projects from design to reality with a simple and intuitive online ordering process where you can now order fully assembled PCBs with components at a cost of just $30 for 20 pieces. To get started, upload your Gerber and BOM files and PCBWay will provide you with a quote on your order and they will be available for help during the entire manufacturing process. Visit the link in the description to find out more and discover why more than 250,000 customers are always choosing PCBWay. So, without further ado, let's jump to the workbench and start working on the battery.
so that's one of the batteries done and I'll do the same to the other one so he can have two batteries to exchange with and to be able to charge them I ordered a charger that works with 16.8 volts and that would be perfect for these two and I'll place that in the original charger that he had for the nickel metal hydrate batteries so hopefully he can still enjoy using this tool in the future if you have any questions then be sure to leave them down in the comments make sure to subscribe and also check out this other video for some other cool projects as well